In this video, we will explore the different lighting modes available in Maxwell Render. Sky Dome, Image-Based Lighting, Physical Sky and Emitters will all be covered in this video. Open the sample scene in SketchUp. Maxwell cameras work like real-life cameras, so you can adjust the shutter speed, the f-stop and film ISO just like you would do with a real SLR camera. The available environment options are accessible from the Maxwell Environment icon. The first and simplest option is the Sky Dome. You can adjust the intensity and colour of the dome light. The Sky Dome colour is set in the Window Styles menu under the Edit tab. Set a pale grey as the background colour. To launch your scene to Maxwell Render, choose a file name and hit Export. Your scene will be exported to an MXS file to be rendered in Maxwell. The Sky Dome creates nice, smooth lighting with soft shadows. You can set the amount of time you want your image to be rendered in render time. The longer the render time, the cleaner the resulting image will be. You can also set the desired sampling level you want your image to reach. The sampling level is a measurement of image quality. So in the same scene, frames with the same SL will show the same amount of noise. Now we're going to light our scene using a high dynamic range image. First, disable the Sky Dome lighting in the Maxwell Environment panel. Open the Maxwell HDRI panel. You can use HDR images for illumination, background, reflection and refraction. Enable the illumination checkbox and load the HDRI file provided with this video. You can adjust the intensity and the tiling. Export the scene to Maxwell Render. HDR images can store all the lighting information from the place where the image was shot and this information can be used to light a 3D scene. Image-based lighting is a good option when we want to mimic a real-life lighting in our 3D scenes. Now open the Maxwell Environment panel again and choose the Physical Sky option. The atmospheric conditions of the Physical Sky can be controlled to a greater extent if needed. Disable the HDRI illumination. The Window Model and Info Location sections allow you to control the geographic location from a list of cities. You can also specify a more precise location by setting the exact latitude and longitude values of a place. You can set the date and time in the Window Shadows panel. Export your scene to the MXS format to render it in Maxwell. Maxwell Render allows you to control the exposure of the image if you think it's too dark or too bright. You can use the film ISO and shutter sliders to adjust the exposure during and after the rendering process. The lighting information is stored in the MXI file that is generated during the render process and this file should be preserved if you want to make further exposure adjustments or to resume the render after stopping it. Every change is interactively displayed in the preview window and the image is refreshed in the main window when the next SL is reached. The physical sky allows you to create realistic, accurate and natural illumination and it's easy to use. Let's talk about emitters. 
To test the illumination from the emitters, first disable all the environment options by ticking the No Environment checkbox. The Scene 2 camera offers a more distant view. In Maxwell Render, light is emitted by actual objects with an emitting material applied to them. A simple plane is enough in most cases. Leave the Maxwell Material icon enabled to create Maxwell Materials. Create a new in-model material using the Window Material panel and name it Emitter 1. The Maxwell Material window will pop up. From here you can create or load your Maxwell Materials. Check Emitter to create an emitting material. Like in real life, you can adjust the light intensity of the emitter in Window. Assign the first emitter material to a plane object to create an area lamp. Create another emitter material and assign it to another plane. You can use the color wheel to choose the light color. Render the scene. The scene is now lit by the emitters. You can adjust the camera ISO and shutter to change the exposure if you find the image too dark or too bright. If the render is stopped, you can use the refresh button to update the image in the main window. Now we're going to explore the multi-light feature. Open the Maxwell Export Options panel and enable the multi-light option, and then render the scene. When the multi-light option is enabled, Maxwell Render stores the contribution of each light separately and creates a slider for each emitter, allowing you to adjust the contribution of each emitter independently. You can make changes in your lighting setup by adjusting the intensity of each light separately without having to relaunch the render for every change. This saves precious time. Let's talk about the camera focus. The f-stop parameter not only controls the exposure, but also the depth of field or the depth of the in-focus area. The lower the f-stop value, the smaller the in-focus area and vice versa. Set a low value like 2.8 to produce a small in-focus area and depth of field effect. Use the pick focal distance function to autofocus an object. The second cup appears in focus, while the surrounding objects appear blurred. Try a higher f-stop value, like 22, to make all your objects appear in focus. As you can see, controlling the Maxwell camera and adjusting the light in Maxwell render is easy.